Just a few days away from one of the largest displays of art and competition in our region. Art is Fair returns to downtown Greenville this weekend, and 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live in Greenville talking to some super chefs at the Greenville County School District. Yeah. Hey, Christine. Incredible. <laughs> Guys, incredible. Yeah, we've got Sierra here this morning. So glad to have her. She's in her second year of this program here at Golden Strip Career Center. Get ready. Artisphere has snuck up on us, I think, this year. Were you ready for it? I guess you guys have been preparing for it for a little while. I mean, it came as a shock because it seemed like it went so fast Did from it? last year. Oh. Because out of nowhere, like, we're doing Artisphere again. I was like, what? wasn't it just happened last weekend? I think so, too. <laughs> but hey, they're getting ready, and you guys better be, too. Do you remember some of the dishes last year we were able to meet right here about a year ago and see some of the exciting things that these students, but you don't cook like students, are going to be preparing. So the culinary arts part of Artisphere, it's fairly new within the, the past few years, but it's a, an experience to really come and enjoy, I think. I was able to come see some of the dishes you guys were able to cook last year, but now even more students in Greenville County, four different career centers will be coming together to showcase their dishes, but this is still a competition, right? Sierra, what does this look like for you guys on Friday? Honestly, the Cross Chef E has made it so we're all like a community. Every career center works together. There's no competition. You all want one goal, and it's to help each other succeed. Ah, very good. Okay, so you're going to be very much hopefully succeeding with this blowtorch <laughs> this morning, Sierra, I hope. What are you going to be making? I'm making a lote, which is like a Mexican street corn, which is usually served on a cob or with a skewer in, and it's blowtorch. And uh, covered in a Mexican mayonnaise. You want to go ahead and get started for us? Sure. All right. I'm going to let her do that and then talk to you guys just a little bit about Artisphere, obviously coming up this weekend. But Friday, Saturday was a great day. I was able to go last year and see what these guys are cooking. They've got quite a few dishes. But one thing to remember is last year they took home a Best in Show award. They are having kind of a Mexican theme this year. Check this out. Sabila Fred, are you seeing this fire? At 5.20 in the morning? <laughs> I don't know. Looks tasty. I think that's pretty darn cool. That Getting is. this elote ready to go, and there's a creamy, creamy sauce this gets covered in. Mm. We are so excited. We're going to show you that after this, guys, so make sure to stay with us. There, you can find them on East Broad, too. Remember that, East Broad Street, downtown, with the Artisphere coming up this weekend. Sounds good and delicious. All right, Christine, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> coming up next on